Nigerians are still searching for answers on how to cope with the projected higher cost of living nearly a week after the federal government commenced the first removal of electricity subsidies. In the outlet moved on April 3rd, the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission cancelled subsidies from Band A customers or those enjoying 20 hours of daily supply. Review of 225 naira per kilowatt hour for just under 15 percent of the customer population in Nancy. So that means that less than 15 percent of the customers will be affected to be enjoying uh, 20 hours average of supply across Europe. Governments are contending with energy subsidies, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, in 2020. The European Union said 27 member states subsidized energy costs with 216 billion euro in 2021, which rose to 390 billion euros in 2020. According to the National Electricity Regulatory Commission, Band A customers are 1.9 million or 15% of the 12.82 million customers nationwide. Band B, C, D and E customers who get lower supplies daily are not affected yet. This is scant mitigation primarily because electricity supply is erratic. The Band A feeders that we have is over 1,000. Then we look at them, we examine them. Which among these can provide 20 hours of life? And we downgraded over 500. It's only 450, 481 feeders that are currently classified as band A. These are the feeders that are good enough, in very good condition to provide stable uninterrupted power. Has hardship intensifies among the populace because of government policies? This to many Nigerians is a badly timed policy with broad ramification for socio-economic life. That uh, the increase in electricity tariff is uh, an ill-advised uh, you know, uh, policy. We thought that uh, what the government should have done was to ensure that uh, there's regular electricity and that people get electricity uh, you know, uh, uh, often. Sometimes uh, this uh, uh, Abuja Electricity uh, Company, I don't know about the other ones in other areas, they will bring light uh, just once a day and then it won't last for one hour. They will remove, they will take, take the light and throughout the whole day we will be in darkness. People are actually paying for darkness. We will not complain. Even Abuja that is a federal capital, we are not enjoying the light, we are not seeing the light. So what, what is the tariff all about? Now you are saying Bashe, Bash B, Bash C, Bash D. No, it doesn't mean. We know, but go to where people generate light a lot. You can increase them, but we that we are resident that we are not even using. Now, I'm outside of my house. What am I using? So, what is the meaning of the tariff? If you can, you can go to factories and talk to them about Bajay, Bajbi, not we residents in Abuja. As expected, the increment has met with resistance and agitation for reversal from the organized labor and activists. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria projects that the hike will provoke factory closures and job losses. In an era of hyperinflation, stagnant wages and currency depreciation, this concern and a genuine. Really concerning the categorization is that nothing like categorization. The, the, the price has been increased across all bands. So nothing like categorization. Nothing like that. To me, it's just a political language. It's a political language in the sense that they want to deceive Nigerians. Nothing like band A, B, or C, or D. Even though they, they mention band A, to me, nothing like band A. Because if band A is increased, and the services of band A is being rendered, or being used, or utilized by band B and C, it will cut across band C, B and C. Because if band A is, for instance, is an industrial zone, when the manufacturers produce, they will sell to the final consumers. And invariably, the final consumers are the people paying for the band A. They will increase their, their commodity, they will increase their product, and the people that are using it are the people paying for the light. By the cancellation, the target is to save 135.26 billion naira out of 216.2 billion naira on subsidies being paid. This review, review, tariff review, is in conformity with our policy trust of maintaining a subsidized pricing regime 
in the short run or in the short time with a transition plan to achieving a full cost reflective tariff for the sector over say a period of three years. With the hike, there might be no real gain for the government. Consumption might likely reduce as Nigerians move to other sources of energy. With a middle shortfall of about 8 million, Nigerians are at the mercy of the discourse. It's going to in increase more hardship to Nigerians. Yes, it's going to increase more hardship and economic downturn more than ever. Because some manufacturers cannot, co they, many of them cannot food their expenses and they will fold up and it will result to what? Much unemployed youths and unemployed Nigerians. The out is for them to revert back for now. Let them go back to, let them, re, let them go back to the normal. Yeah. You see, I, I, I foresee a situation where state governments or states will start generating their own electricity, just like uh, 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 this uh, state in the southeast, uh, Abia, has done, you know. Other states are now embarking on generating their own electricity. I think that is the way to go. You see, let us forget about this, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, all these generating companies, uh, electricity distribution companies, and let the government go into uh, generation and distribution, you know, and see how they can crash the cost of electricity. Tinubu and the Minister of Power, Adebayo Arendabu, and the National Electricity Regulatory Commission should make metering provision a priority. To resolve the crisis, the government should eat the humble pie by admitting that it has jumped the gun and concede to discuss widely with all stakeholders before taking the next step. Kumli Ojo, Galaxy TV.